Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspiration Oracle Reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I have randomly selected three cards to provide you with some type of inspiration for your day. i like for you to take a quick moment to think about anything that's troubling you or any issues or concerns that you may have that you may want to connect with this reading. Or you can simply just allow your mind to relax and see what surfaces from your subconscious. So the first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is trust your gut. Use your resolve to move forward. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is health is wealth. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood. Okay, my collective intuition for this hand is that whatever problems you're having now regarding money it is related to your childhood how you were treated and in order for you to move past the problems you're having you're going to have to dissect like like go back and look at your your childhood and say okay how did i handle rejection how did i handle when I didn't get the attention that I needed or when I wanted something and my parents didn't buy it for me. And looking at all of the ways that you dealt with money when you were growing up and then come up with a strategy that you're going to apply to your life now because that strategy is going to literally change your life and move you forward. Health is wealth is I feel that we're talking about the health of your your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-honor, your self-integrity, your self-love. This is your this is your health. This is your real wealth. Your real wealth is really is how you feel about yourself, how you value yourself, and that is impacting your relationship with money. So that's the big overview look. Um, intuition that I have for this hand. So I like for you to think about how your family dealt with money. Did you get an allowance? Did your parents give you money? Did you have to work for money? Uh, what was your first job? But before you even get there, like did your parents fight about money? Did you have enough money in your family? What was it like in your family concerning money? What did your parents tell you about money? And Um, how much they think you should make and how much money you should have and um, because all of anything that you're experiencing right now regarding money trust me it is coming it is stemming from your childhood even if we didn't pull these cars that's what the cars that's what the cars want to talk about today like for example um, when I was a kid I always received an allowance from my dad my first allowance was 75 cent and I would immediately go and spend my entire 75 cent buying now and later, now and later. So I don't know if they still make those candies for all of my friends. I would go to the corner store and I would immediately spend my money on my friends, either on the ice cream truck or at the corner store because I wanted them to be my friends. And I, as, as soon as I received my allowance, I would tell you within, I don't think I've ever held on to it for over an hour. And, and everybody kind of like waited outside for me to come and like share and I've always been that person who just give gave way too much and it's something that I've struggled with my whole life and so when I go back in my life and I think about what um, how this relationship with money developed I was the oldest of two brothers and whenever the cookies were burnt or the something was broken or if the sausage was not cooked right anytime something wasn't perfect my mom would always say to me you're my big girl you're the oldest you should eat it because my brothers wouldn't want it and I found myself throughout every job taking the worst you know whatever was left over 
um, doing everything for everybody else. That pattern followed me throughout my life, wanting, you know, thinking, well, I have to self-sacrifice for everybody else. So my uh, student loan debt, to me, is a reflection of a person who has had all type of emotional debt throughout my life. And I feel that the, the wealth in terms of money is really just a reflection of how we have, like I said, valued ourselves throughout our lifetime. So the collective message to you, darling, is that you are enough. You, you are enough. You don't have to pay for friends. Will you be my friend? I'll treat, I'll buy it, I'll do it. I'll, t you know, I don't know if you've been that person before, but it stems from feeling like you're not enough. You alone are not enough. And your true wealth is your self, you know, your, um, how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem, your self-love. That is the real wealth here. So the purpose of this reading today is to give you a moment to reflect on the relationship that you have with money and your family, with your parents, how that impacted you today, and to come up with a strategy, use your resolve to move forward. So this is the card we have from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Trust your gut, use your resolve to move forward. For me, I really have to focus on you know, not treating people all the time and it's really difficult for me. Um, it's, it's for me to step back, buying gifts that I can't afford, putting myself in, in positions where I'm just always stressed out because I'm, a, I'm so afraid of being rejected. Um, so I didn't grow up without money, but I grew up in a home where I felt that I had to always sacrifice whatever I wanted because I was the oldest and that bled into every aspect of my life. So I like for you to take a moment to look in your life, your relationship with money, your childhood, and come up with a strategy. Make sure you become conscientious. Like right now I have to, I make sure that I ask myself, like, why am I doing this? I really, you know, why? I have to allow people to pay for their own things. Like I'm very conscious now about that relationship that I had with money as a child and it's actually helping me and I have to get over the guilt or thinking that, well, maybe, you know, people don't seem to call as often if they're not going to get something free from you, from me. So you have to think about that. That is what the cars want you to think about today. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.